Oh gosh, so sorry guys. I started your reading without turning on the camera. So I thought the camera would be helpful to record a video. <laughs> anyway, oh, I got Oracle cards out for you. We got Wise One, Peacekeeper, and White Witch, which I really liked getting together. I'll explain that in a minute. Um, it's for the upcoming weekend for the collective spirit and angels anyone for the highest good we're ready to receive the messages October 9th to the 11th 2020 what are the messages for the collective for anyone who's guided here to see this reading on YouTube these are gigantor cards but boy are they beautiful but bear with me while I shuffle what do we need to know for the upcoming weekend for the collective wise one peacekeeper and white witch beautiful energy all right one more shuffle and we're gonna get right into it all right so first of all i have to say these are some of my favorite cards in this deck um this this is the star card uh the star tarot big long big 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 heavy duty cards beautiful cards um, this was Angels and Ancestors deck, Wise One. I really love this card because this is somebody who's learned from their experiences. Her hair is gray. She's got the Owl of Wisdom and the High Priestess uh, Reverse Crescent Moon here on her uh, above the Owl. This is so much wisdom and growth this person's had. Wise One, grow within your current situation. All right, now we also have Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. And we also have White Witch, Be the Light. Okay, so an example to others. So this Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. And the White Witch, Be the Light. And Wise One, Grow Within Your Current Situations. And this person that's grown through everything they've been through. This really feels like um, you're going to be an example for other people in some way. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know here? Wise one, peacekeeper, and white witch for this coming weekend. Obviously, guys, these could resonate on other dates, but I want them out there for you guys for the weekend, the 9th to the 11th of October, 2020, for anyone who is guided here to see this reading. King of Cups, beautiful. He's in the upright. Temperance in reverse. What else? Oh, way too many. Just one or two. What else do we need to know here? Wise one, peacekeeper, and white witch. Okay. Three of swords reversed, thankfully. Okay. All right, let's get a little look here. We got the Six of Cups reversed at the bottom. Now, in Thursday's reading, the Six of Cups was the challenge. I feel like it was Thursday's reading. I think it was. Okay, right behind that, we have the Emperor, or I'm sorry, the Empress. She's reversed. And we have the Emperor right behind her. Wow. All right, so the Emperor and the Empress. Empress is reversed. Six of Cups is reversed, so we're having an issue going on here. We're either um, having a hard time with unhappiness from the past with the sun here, too, and the Three of Swords reversed. I feel like someone's getting over something they went through in the past. All right, whether you're male or female, because they're both here, right? This is um, something about um, something that felt there's an imbalance going on here with temperance right in the middle in reverse right this also could have been um something that you, somebody's losing patience with here there does seem to be a level of healing going on here definitely all right we also have eight of swords in the upright which i really like in this deck this is like someone went through the piercing of the heart. Someone went through feeling boxed in. Someone felt so stressed out. But look, they're free. The eagle is showing us they're, they're about to be freed from whatever this was. It was painful too. And that's going away as well. Eight of Pentacles is reversed. Are we not going to invest in something anymore? Are we not going to put any more work in? I have to tell you, you got a crap load of eights here. 
Eight of Cups as well. We're going to walk away from any kind of emotional baggage we've had over all this. Wow, this is crazy. There's a lot of aid activity going on here. All right, so someone's leaving behind. You're about to bust free from something that was painful, something that felt kept you feeling trapped, something that's been very drained and disappointing, uh, very imbalanced, very unfair possibly. I feel in fairness. Um, somebody's busting free from all this. And we start out here with the King of Cups. I feel like the King of Cups could be a man, but it could also be a woman. It's in the upright here. Sometimes King of Cups comes through for feminine as well. So whether you're male or female, I feel like you're busting free from something here. Um, let's get some clarity around this. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this reading for the collective for the upcoming weekend? the 9th to the 11th of October 2020 or whenever they stumble upon it or are guided to watch it and it resonates all right we have wise one peacekeeper and white witch please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most for anyone who will be guided here to see this reading on YouTube for the collective Okay, one more, and we're going to go for it. Okay, so, wow. Let's look at the King of Cups. What do we need to know about the King of Cups? King of Cups. What's important here, please? Okay, got a challenge of the hanged man. So the hanged man's all about, or the hanged person, um, is all about someone who's trying to see things from another perspective, someone who's put themselves in an uncomfortable position to see things from another perspective. The, if this is a man, we could be dealing with someone with Pisces in their chart. If it's a woman, same thing. Um, like I said, King of Cups sometimes comes through um, for women too. But right now it's coming through as a man so i'm going to use man okay so and you guys flip it if you're female pisces all right so we have someone here who's looking at things from another perspective pisces coming through very strongly here with king of cups and the hanged person all right let's look at temperance reversed why is temperance reversed okay we've got the four of cups reverse all right so this is someone who's um I feel like getting over something. They feel like they missed out on something. They missed an opportunity. Um, we have Sagittarius here, Cancer. We have Pisces, Scorpio. All these signs are coming through already. All right. Oh, and Leo with the sun here reversed. So let's get a look at the sun reversed. Why is the sun reversed here? Yeah, we have Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So someone trying to make a decision about a partnership or about... Why am I saying partnership? Two of Cups is not here. About a new beginning. So someone's been disappointed and um, they're trying to figure something out here or they have a lack of clarity about it. What is, oh, that's why they're trying to see it differently. Okay, that's why. All right, so definitely we got a situation where somebody would like to have a new beginning, but they can't. There's something they're not seeing clearly. There's something um, I feel from the past there's somebody feels like they missed out on something, feels like there was an imbalance in something, something like that. The death card in reverse just tried to fall out, and I'm about to clarify the Eight of Swords. That would have been more stuck energy, okay? And that's what the Eight of Swords is. But when I look at this particular Eight of Swords in this deck, it's all about getting unstuck. Tell me about the Eight of Swords here, please. Ooh, beautiful. Look at this page of pentacles with the gigantic pentacle. So what seems like might be a small offer coming in. I, this is so weird. The sun's reversed at the bottom of the deck as well. All right. So there's been some kind of clear disappointment in this situation in the past or something. Someone's just not. I feel like there's a lack of clarity with the hangman here and the sun reversed. 
there's been mental blockages. I feel like somebody just has not had clarity about something. And now all of a sudden, here comes this page of cups, ace of cups, and some kind of offers coming in. And a decision needs to be made. Tell me about the three of swords reversed. There it is. Ace of pentacles. Someone's getting a humongous new beginning after being completely betrayed. Ten of swords. This ten of swords, somebody is going to heal from this. And you know why? Because something huge is coming in. And it's coming in with the page of cups. I mean, page of pentacles. You might not think this is huge, but it's going to be huge. It's, it's ace of cups, ace of pentacles. You might not know it, but it's coming. All right. Eight of, you might not know how big it's going to turn out to be. All right, tell me about um, Eight of Pentacles reversed here. Why is Eight of Pentacles reversed? Like I said, you got a ton of eights in your reading. You're about to wrap up a cycle. Tell me about the um, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, oh no, yeah, yes and no. <laughs> We've got the Three of Swords reversed again, showing that you're going to heal from some kind of betrayal that you went through. Three of Swords reversed, Ten of Swords. You're at the end of it. This this is ending. Three of Swords reversed again. Eight of Pentacles. You might have been betrayed by someone at work. Someone may have done something shady with the um, judgment reverse. I feel like someone actually made a wrong or bad or something. Some kind of foul judgment. We have Four of Swords and... I'm sorry. Yes, Four of Swords. Four of Swords and Four of Pentacles reversed at the bottom. Something's being released here. Some You were feeling trapped, stuck, whatever this was. There was some lack of clarity with the sun again reversed. And that's all being released. Some kind of healing's coming in here. Four of Swords reversed. Three of Swords twice reversed. This is really good. All right, let's look at um, Judgment reversed. Uh, I, I want to look at Judgment reverse here. Give me a little information on this judgment reverse with the eight of pentacles reversed and the three of swords reversed. What is this judgment reverse doing here? Oh, it almost came out, but it went back in. What is judgment reverse doing here with the eight of pentacles reversed, three of swords reversed? Why is judgment reversed here? What's it about? King of pentacles. Wow. So, oh my God, Eight of Pentacles reversed again at the bottom and a partnership reversed at the bottom. So, and clarity coming in. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. There's some kind of clarity coming in. Either you or they are going to change their judgment of something that happened at work. Somebody, somebody was off. Something was imbalanced here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You're going to move away from all the emotional aspects of whatever this was. And it doesn't have to be at work. It could be any area of your life you were working on or working with another person. But um, for a lot of you, this is going to be a work situation. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Full reversed. Okay, so somebody is not going to be taking any risks, not going to be moving forward with something. Is it this new offer or this is something old? This is in the past. This is past energy. Let me look at um what this was. What why is the fool reversed here, please? Why? This also could have been someone who made a foolish choice. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody made a foolish choice. They made a bad judgment call. And they really hurt somebody here. Tell me about full reversed. Why is it here? Ah, uh, yeah, in a partnership. No doubt about it. And someone's definitely getting clarity on that. All right, why is the Eight of Cups here? I want another one on the Eight of Cups because we're moving away from all this. Why is the Eight of Cups here? I feel like someone's going to move away from... Uh, yep, yeah, somebody's moving away from a partnership that was not good for them. No doubt about it. They would rather be single. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. They stay more balanced when they're single. And it's going to take them out of feeling this regret, sorrow, and loss that they've been in. So somebody's moving away from a partnership. I feel like there will not be reconciliation with that partnership. But somebody's getting a brand new beginning. 
It doesn't mean that it's with a person. This new beginning is coming out of depression and heading towards happiness. This new beginning is heading towards a solid, happy new beginning. Getting untrapped mentally from whatever this was. Somebody did something to someone in a partnership. I want to come back to the King of Cups and the Hanged Man as a challenge. Why is the King of Cups here with the Hanged Man as a challenge? Why? Devil. Woo, mama. This, somewhere in here is a toxic connection. Or someone who is bound to something. Yeah, someone felt very bound to this. Give me the devil, please. Why is the devil here? Just one for the devil. Another challenge. Eight of Pentacles. Someone has been stuck to I feel like someone was or has been or is stuck in some kind of a contract stuck in some kind of a, it could be just a karmic contract between people a spiritual thing you know an unhappy past king and queen of I mean I'm sorry emperor and empress both came up back here this could be two people that needed to come together in this lifetime to work out some really nasty karma all right, so we have someone here who is healing from something they went through, complete betrayal. It could have been in a work situation. This could actually be a physical work partnership or contract between people, and some, one of these people did the other one dirty. All right, there has been betrayal. There's been heartache. There's been pain. Someone's been trapped in this. They're busting free of it, whatever it is. All right, I want to know more about the Eight of Cups with the Two of Cups reverse, and this Four of Wands is all about a partnership. It's more like the Two of Cups. So it's almost like we have the Two of Cups in reverse twice here with the Eight of Cups. So we have the Eight of Cups with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands both reversed. What is this? Why Eight of Cups? It's like someone's going to move away from some kind of karmic contract, but they're going to move towards really nice new beginning here. Yes. King of Swords. This could be a legal judgment that separates someone from something they were, somebody was toxically holding them to something. There could have been something being covered up at work. See how they're like covering stuff up? And someone's seeing it. Someone's seeing the toxic nature. Let's see about this release. Can I get one more on the um, the nine, or I'm sorry, the eight of swords here with the with the page of pentacles what is this ace of or i'm sorry eight of swords with the page of pentacles eight of swords page of pentacles give me more information please on this okay another challenge on its side queen of swords there was a lack of clarity here that was keeping someone trapped in something financial i feel i definitely feel like it was something um there's clarity coming in clarity is coming in I want to know more about the Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, please. What is this? Yeah, absolutely. There were things that were unknown. Somebody's definitely going to get some clarity on this. We have the Two of Swords reversed. I feel like that is some clarity coming in here. There's clarity coming into this situation. It's going to put the end of heartache. It's going to put an end to heartache and betrayal, and it's going to bring in a brand new beginning. What is this clarity we're getting? Give me more on the King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. We have here the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Hierophant. So this is a financial drain caused by some kind of institution or business or contract we have here the devil and one of them ha it has a devil suit on and one of them has the moon behind their back this is a not so good hierophant so there's some kind of clarity coming in about a financial drain having to do with this queen of pentacles reversed 
whatever this is, I feel like it's going to release somebody. See how this person's stuck? They're tied. Their legs tied. Their arms tied. Can you see that? This came out reversed. So this two of wands is all about releasing something that was stuck. And look what's behind it. The tower and the chariot. But the tower's reversed as well. I feel like someone is busting free of something that was absolutely toxic, binding them. Ugh, awful. Now, I don't know who did what to who, so you guys are going to have to figure that part out because there's a few players here, but some of them um, feel more like energies. Like I said, we're getting clarity on something here. There was a lack of clarity over here. So there could be, there's definitely some kind of information I feel that was not clear. Was There could have even been hidden information, like I said. And let, I'm going to get one on this Eight of Pentacles. Because it seems to me like this Eight of Pentacles was the whole problem. It was the toxicity. that Someone was covering up something about money or something at work. Tell me about the devil with this Eight of Pentacles here. The Eight of Pentacles is a challenge with the devil. Why, why is this like this? What do we need to know? Archangel Michael said, nope, we can't have it anymore. We have temperance. We have balance coming in. Remember, we had it in the reverse here in the center of the reading. The center of the reading really has to do with the whole reading. Something was off balance, off center. Something was um, not balanced. It, so, somebody could have been losing patience in a situation. Whatever this was, someone was trying to get over some kind of imbalance. And here we have balance coming into a situation that was toxic. Tell me about the temperance reversed again. We need another card on that. Yeah, look. Someone felt completely caged in. Somebody was trying to keep someone trapped in something toxically. They were trying to keep them trapped. Look, they were trying to keep them prisoner. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like the secret's coming out with the moon here and the tower here. I feel like something's coming out about this. There, there's definitely something coming out. Let's see what comes next. There was something going on. Someone was keep being kept from their money. Something toxic was happening here. Tell me more about this reading and what comes next, please. Yeah, someone's truth is coming out and someone's overcoming this. I really feel someone was taking advantage of a woman in a business sense or something like that. Give me more information, please. We need more information on what comes next. And the reason I feel that is because, well, we have the wise one, the peacekeeper, the white witch. They all feel like this is, a, a, now it could be a man, but I really feel as though... Somebody here was being the peacekeeper. Someone was, you know, being the light. And someone was taking advantage of them. All right, give me more information on what comes next here, please. What else do we need to know? Nope, that's too many. Just one or two. What comes next? Oh my God, that's gorgeous energy. All right. We have here, we have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. That's pretty freaking beautiful. Um, and we have overcoming it and ending an old cycle. So there's something, this is great. Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Death card. These are huge. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And what? Oh my God, the Emperor the three of pentacles wow i'm blown away by this so there's an ending coming of something that had to do with that emperor back here all right it could have been third party it could have been a work situation whatever it is it's coming to an end 
We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. This is forward movement. This is closing an old cycle, starting a brand new cycle. This is overcoming something with victory. Move forward movement. All new beginning. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Shut the front door. And Ace of Pentacles was at the bottom a second ago. I saw it. I almost feel like it, it meant, was meant to be here as well. Um, I feel like whatever this was, this controlling or thing that was going on here someone was literally trying to i almost feel like someone oh god and someone discovered it the hermits at the bottom and the hermits looking right into this this strength card here so i don't know if that matters but i mean it could be a leo could be um an aries could be a someone with cancer pisces or scorpio in their chart something about this emperor something's coming to an end with whatever this is and the hermit's been looking into it it has to do with someone trying to cover up something at work or put the blame on someone else trying to um, abuse their partner in some way this partner was totally abused totally abused we've got here Two of Cups reversed. We've got here Hierophant. This is the not good Hierophant either, right? We've got the Four of Wands reversed. We've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there was a woman here who was not allowed to do anything, not allowed to move forward, not allowed to go anywhere, do anything, whatever. She was being held captive. I saw many cards here that made me feel like someone was literally being held captive. Truth is coming out. Some kind of clarity. There's even going to be a legal judgment here. And this person is finally free. Free. I saw it in the Eight of Swords. I see it in this Eight of Cups. You have three Eights here. I feel like the cycle's ending. Something toxic was going on. And I feel like this strongly could be a work situation where somebody was definitely being mistreated here. And I feel as though someone saw what was happening with this Emperor. The Emperor is known as a very controlling person, right? And after Tarot, I read them all in the upright, but this could be a very out of control emperor in the reverse with the devil here and these other very toxic energies. Give me one more card on what comes next in this situation. I mean, it's all beautiful. This really is new beginnings everywhere. I just feel like I'm missing something. Give me any information you can in the situation. Yeah, wow. There it is. I knew it. I told you I felt like it was meant to be here. The Ace of Pentacles. I knew it. I felt like it needed to be here. Absolutely. There's someone coming in. There's wish fulfillment. There's two people on the same path here and wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, somebody saw what this person was doing and they're coming in. They're coming in. Yeah, sneaky shady stuff right at the bottom. And there she is, Queen of Pentacles, getting what was supposed to be hers. Remember, I felt like someone was keeping money from her or financially draining her in a partnership. Someone's going to be seen for doing whatever they were doing. I feel like there's a tower coming right there at the bottom. There's a tower coming. Um, it's going to basically clean up whatever was going on here there was somebody doing something sneaky and shady i feel to this woman can i have one card on the tower please one card on the tower yeah decision okay give me more the tower Yeah, a decision. Wow, someone's going to make a decision to get someone unstuck. Remember, I felt that Eight of Swords was somebody getting unstuck, getting set free. Someone's coming in and setting someone free from something. They're making a decision to do it. It's going to blow everything up. I feel like there's going to be um, someone who didn't see this coming, and it might be a group of people, and they were betraying someone, and it involved a Leo or a Sagittarius or a... Aries or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio man maybe maybe 
uh, judgment. Yeah, there's some kind of judgment coming in here. All right, so what in the world is this judgment in this tower? Can we get one card on it to sum it all up? I really feel like it's um, a decision that's going to be made. I feel like somebody got caught doing something sneaky and shady. And um, the tower in judgment is everything coming to a head. But it's going to bring in a lot of really great energy for you. I mean, unless you're on the opposite end of the spectrum. But tower and judgment here, please. Yep. Could be a big old fight that's coming out. A decision that was made in the past. I'm telling you, I swear it's a group of people. Yeah, I feel like it was more than one person. Tell me about the um, Six of Cups. Yep, Sun's coming in. Page of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles is coming in. We've also got Queen of Cups. We got the Six of Pentacles. We got the Page of Pentacles. There's a lot going on here. Like there's, if there was financial, something financial owed, it's coming. And if it was owed to a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it's coming. And we do have Cancer here as well. We had a few cards of Cancer here. Um, could be, could be um, also coming in for a. Um, that's really all I'm getting at the end here. But I also had gotten, don't forget, um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo woman, who I felt was the one being done dirty. She's coming out here at the end as a Cancer or a po possible Pisces or Scorpio, but strong Cancer coming through. Um, yes, yeah, Scorpio's coming through. Pisces is here as well. So anybody who's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, could be anybody really, but they're coming through in this energy. Something big, big is going down and it's going to change. It feels life changing. I mean, these are huge cards. We've got the, the star card. We've got the sun card. We've got the judgment card. We have the tower. We have the, uh, world. We have the wheel. We have the chariot and we've got all four aces someone's definitely ending an old cycle and starting a brand new one and it comes in with kind of a bang judgment tower but also with a lot of beauty six of wands chariot sun star i mean oh, really the only card here that's not an ace and that's not oh don't forget we also had these death emperor and um hermit these are all huge major arcanas these are all major arcanas. You got to see this. These are all aces up here. The only two cards that are not a major arcana or an ace are one of my favorite cards, the six of wands and the three of pentacles. And in this three of pentacles, it's just telling us this was a work situation where somebody was left out, left on their own. I feel like somebody became a scapegoat here. And I feel like, um, oh, we had these cards too. Okay, we have the person coming in, Queen of Cups. We have the money coming in. These are the ones we just pulled out. If somebody was owed something, they're getting it. Someone might have made a bad decision in the past. There's going to be some kind of a showdown here. I see it coming with that Knight of Swords and that Tower coming out. And there was something else that led me to believe there could be a bit of a, I mean, this Knight of Swords is pretty harsh. Uh, I feel like someone's coming in. Someone sees what was going on here. Someone was trying to use a woman. And someone went back and looked at it. And saw that they were being taken advantage of. I'm telling you, something's coming out here. There was betrayal involved. Something's coming out. All right, guys, let me know. Let me know. This is very intriguing, this reading. But I will tell you... That this person, this woman, I feel like the reason all this came out is because, well, this person needed a new beginning. Spirit said, judgment angel says, we want the old cycle to close. We want this person to have a new beginning, um, the wheel of fortune, a fresh start. So, yep, we got to send in a tower so that we can provide hopes, wishes, and dreams and happiness for this person that really deserves this victory, right? And why does this person deserve Ace of Swords 
ace of pentacles ace of wands ace of cups and all that beauty the the other gorgeous cards wish fulfillment and everything why because this person has grown in leaps and bounds and has wisdom in their soul this person's a good person um they're the peacekeeper right they don't need to be right they just want things to be balanced and fair right they're the white one they lead by example they are the light okay that's why all this greatness this beautiful karma this is somebody's getting good karma the wheel of fate it's a karmic wheel someone's getting their wish fulfillment they're getting a, a new beginning they're getting victory success over somebody there was something tyrannical going on in, in this it was it was corrupt it was the bad hierophant it was um a toxic partnership it was somebody was definitely being taken advantage of and now the truth is coming out there's vi there's um po very possible legal judgment coming into this situation um somebody was covering something up there was something devilish about this somebody was trying to absolutely keep someone stuck keep someone under control keep them you know caged in um, but it's all coming out. This is all coming out and a brand new beginning is coming in for someone. Don't forget, we also had this beautiful Ace of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles here as well. And we have this Page of Cups carrying the Ace of Pentacles into somebody. All right. There, this reading was filled with Aces, filled with them, filled with a lot of beautiful things. Something amazing is coming in for someone. I mean, it's going to be huge. There's so many major arcanas. This is going to be life changing all right life changing in the best of ways and don't forget temperance right there archangel michael saying no no another major arcana we are changing this up wow all right angels for anyone that's going to resonate with this reading from the bottom what do you want us to know about or focus on what do you want them to know what do you want them to focus on from the bottom please for the Oh, I only got one out of all that. Give me two, please. Okay. Yeah, all new. Look, we got a blank one. Let me get another one from the bottom. Creativity. Okay. For most of you, I put the blank one back. For most of you, this is a work situation. When creativity comes out, I always feel like it's a work situation. There's some kind of definite balance being brought back into someone's life after they were done dirty. Balance, balance. Okay, so something's coming in and there's all new look at this aces aces everywhere the wheel of fortune and the world we're guaranteed new birth means new i need one more from the bottom please forgiveness whoa whoa absolutely somebody did somebody dirty here okay whether you forgive or not it's totally up to you i'm not getting involved all right i don't want people spouting out at me totally up to you i have no stake in it anyway um guys i hope that you enjoyed this reading please like share subscribe i very much enjoyed this reading it was intriguing if somebody would like to reach out to me and um tell me if they know what this is about uh i hope that these major blessings are coming in for you guys i really really do this was somebody is getting good karma in like like by the truckloads dumped on them from heaven that's what it feels like okay so please guys let me know claim it if you want it write down below put in there i claim this reading and so it is whatever you want to write down there um claim it because this is somebody here is going to get something major major karmic payoff after going through a bunch of stuff being betrayed being hurt in many ways possibly from um other people there's one person i feel that sees what's going on could be two but i feel like it's one that sees what's going on and is jumping in and changing something because they see what's happening here uh could be a work situation it felt very much to me for 99 percent of you this is going to be work for others of you, you can find a way that this works in your, you know, for your situation, please do. But for 
the majority of you, it felt like a very, um, you know, with eight of pentacles and something being covered up here at work with the three of pentacles, whatever it is, um, it felt very work related coming out multiple times here for me. So, and with this hierophant, Ooh, mama, something bad was going down. I feel like some kind of, I don't know. You guys tell me. Anyway, I I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe if you did. I very much appreciate you guys for doing these nice things for the channel. Um, if you need a personal reading, my information is directly beneath this video in the description area. Um, just look for my email and reach out to me by email. And please put in subject matter that you're looking for a personal reading or a private reading. Otherwise, I might not even see your email. I get so many. All right, so put that in there so that I see it and notice it. Also, um, please comment down below. I am absolutely going to be waiting on the edge of my seat to find out who's reading this. Is. <laughs> All right, guys, um, enjoy. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.